Hello. Hello students, welcome to the class. And uh, I welcome to you again, once again to the English class, where I'm your English teacher, Sridh Ashikur Rahman, where I'll be dealing today with some new topic, with some new discussions. And today, I won't be declaring you the topic right now. This is a prize at the uh, class as continues, you'll be able to know what is the topic, okay? So just in the beginning of the class, I won't be declaring the topic, what is the topic I'm going to discuss today. But here's something secret, what the discussion, as I have declared as an English class, the students, you remember, English class means interactive class, and where interaction will be going on. Where students, I need your interaction, one by one, when the class will continue. When I'll ask you to answer, one by one you'll unmute your mic and you answer me. So this is an English class where we need interaction. Without interaction, without a discussion, the English class is like an uh, empty vessel that makes sounds and nothing else. So we need discussion and we need to proceed our class in a matter of interaction. So when you can know something and you can share something, your ideas and views, what you're able to understand. Okay, so welcome to the English class once again. I'm here, Ashik sir, with you with the today's discussion. Okay, so I'm sharing the topic today's, just I'm sharing something. So here are the lines and on your screen, students, you can see, try not to feel jealous about things or people or place. It's toxic. Just keep leaving, you'll find your happiness. There's a line on your screen, just see it, students. Try not to feel jealous about things, people, place, it's toxic. Just keep leaving, you will find your happiness. Okay. So just anyone, anyone uh, out of so many students are there here. I need and the one who can write first. Yes. So anyone that one of them will answer and rest share your views in the chat box. What do you understand from this quote line shared on the screen? Try not to feel anyone just unmute and answer rest. Give your views in the chat box. Anyone can share your turn on your uh, speaker and you can share your view and rest. Just uh, uh, write it down in the chat box. What do you understand from these lines here on your screen? Try not to feel jealous about things or people or place. It's toxic. Just keep leaving. You'll find your happiness. Just quickly, one of you, uh, one of you just turn on your uh, speaker and just unmute yourself and answer me. Anyone, anyone, come on. Anyone, just unmute and answer me. What do you understand from these, these lines on the screen? Try not to feel jealous about things or people, place. It's toxic. Just keep leaving. You'll find your happiness. Anyone, just turn on and answer me or you can write it down in the chat box. What do you understand from these lines here? Try not to feel jealous. See students. Yeah, someone is writing. Someone is writing. Someone is writing. Yeah. Uh, uh, not to care about others. Just focus on yourself. You'll reach your goal. That's correct. Okay. Fine. Any more opinions? Any more opinions? In one of them is answering. Any more opinions? Yeah. Any more answer? Any more answer, students? Try not to feel jealous of about things. See, in our life, in a course of life, students, we are facing, we see others and we see, we, I don't have this. For example, when you see your phone, your friend is using a modern or latest technology, iPhone. Oh, you're using iPhone. Oh, wow. Good. Marvelous. And I'm not having, you feel question mark. Wow. He's having a car. You're riding a car. So we feel jealous of her. so many things on so many occasions. Yeah, we should not be bothered about others. We should focus on ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, so many of them, uh, what happened? Students, uh, we feel jealous of it. so many things. Uh, sir, we understand that we should not be jealous of material things and find happiness in leaving because being jealous for something later leave us in a trap. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So what happens here? See, uh, uh, what happened? 
try not to feel jealous about things when we start thinking that i am jealous of your friend when you start thinking that your friend is having something and you're not so what kind of things we keep on jealous with things he is having i'm not and of people okay and or people we see people and keep making jealous of place beautiful house of a place x y z it's here the line is declaring it's toxic okay it's toxic just keep leaving just see just keep leaving does not sense in a simple way thank god what you have in your life be grateful just keep leaving keep leaving doesn't means only a simple it it has a another meaning what i want to connect you just thank god what you have don't see others don't focus others think yourself what you are what you've got it in your life what you can get it when you look others your last part you'll find happiness you won't find happiness you can't leave so just you will find happiness when you will focus on yourself what you have in your life what you are enjoying what you are doing it how you can grow just keep means my motto of sharing this quote just find happiness in yourself not in others so just don't jealous two points are coming no, just keep in your mind students i'll be asking don't have jealous or don't make jealous of others and search happiness search happiness in yourself if you search happiness on others you won't be happy you won't be happy you will just see them and you'll be imitating happiness okay so yeah next one next one see love is a trap when it appears we see only its light not its shadow okay just students love is a trap your love is a trap i am saying here the lines are coming here the quoted love is a trap when it appears we see only its light not its shadow before discussing on that quote see students at this age when we, uh, the teen age what we talk about or any age do you believe on the term do you believe on the term love my again the question do you believe on the term love yeah it is uh uh it is what we can say do you believe in the term love here students do you believe here in the term love here love is a love is a trap when it appears we see only its light not its shadow do you believe just uh, do you believe love is a trap yes or no yes or no love is a trap do you believe yes or no just write it down in the chat box i must see some are writing yes some are writing no okay some are writing yes and some are writing no yeah <coughs> yeah love is a trap when it appears some are writing yeah it is yes and some are writing no when it appears we see only its light not its shadow see a love at first sight some may believe this the term love at first sight some may not okay some may believe love at first sight some may not see i'll say students i can claim that that love is at first sight is a true and all get connected in this term we all do believe love at first sight i may claim and even i can prove okay but but first sight see when we are born i may, i will give example when we are born we see our mother until our death we love her we love her we love her. i am repeating this term we love her from born we first open our eye we see our mother and we love her till our death we never uh, share any kind of uh, you know disparity to our mother and father so that first love at first sight that is always true if and we are connecting that is father and mother so just love is a trap when life starts growing life starts going it does not give a real taste of it does not give real taste of love we start searching where it when we we forget the last quote what i shared it happiness if you see happiness in you that's fine if you start searching in others what happens you are going somewhere else so what i am connecting a love is a trap when it appears we see only its light when it appears we can see it's not its shadow it, it does not give any shadow it does not give any hope so it gets trapped we are trapped in different world the love is not real we can say love is fake okay so what happened when we search others the last quote is connected here last quote is connected here i'm not just declaring this quote 
last word when we search happiness in different world so love becomes a trap okay and the final one i am coming up here what i want to share you the final one final quote here let me give you some advice here's advice piece of advice for you just try to remember and we'll be coming down with more informations try to approach things without preconceived ideas okay just try to approach things without preconceived ideas don't see preconceived ideas what happens when we see someone we see something we start assuming we start assuming we start drawing the conclusion how he should be how she should be when we start when we start making the assumption it is wrong so it's just a piece of advice there try to approach things without preconceived ideas don't make assumption without supposing you already know everything yes even i even i i don't know anything even the world the one, one who says who knows everything he is a fool i'll say so here the knowledge is like ocean we can collect like a drop of water okay we take drop of water it's coming down the knowledge we are collecting it's like the same so knowledge is like ocean so already know everything the one who is claiming he knows everything that's wrong there is to know about them so we must know with the time we must know that person to whom we are there we are connecting it's a piece of advice there is to know about them get that trick down and you will be surprised at what's really all around you everything everything all around you no one is bad see students the the character and it's so see the crime and criminal crime and criminal so crime is wrong criminal we when we will take out the crime from that individual man he will become a good human so just try to improve what try to improve means try to understand that the human does not have a wrong always situation makes him wrong situation makes him affect to do something on at the present covid 19 is going on world is fa facing the big problem at the same time so many people are there who might not be getting proper food so due to which they might be doing something wrong situation situation is doing so don't try to assume don't make preconception okay so just of our discussion with the three slides i have shown you in the very first three slides students just try to understand things so don't assume anything such happiness in yourself don't others don't be jealous of others okay that is connecting to our today's discussion of a topic okay and have don't make any preconception of others try to understand don't make any assumption okay so have a trick to understand others you will be surprised to know how every individual is a good one beautiful one okay so with this ideas we'll move for the today's discussion you can see clearly on the uh, screen uh, there's a, a what a rat trap the today's talk and discussion of a topic is rat trap written by selma lagerlof written by selma lagerlof the chapter name is rat trap you can see on the picture the wire like structure wire like structure it's a wire through which the rat trap is made of okay so the uh, the one you might be going to the iron store where the iron materials are sold in that place you can get iron even what we can say a rat trap so that rat trap is generally used what for catching a rat okay generally is it is used for catching a rat so today's topic is rat trap today i am going to just introduce the topic introduction i am going to do it today and the students in the next class onwards i'll be sharing the line wise explanation of the chapter today is just a introduction class of the chapter that is a rat trap by selma lagerlof okay yeah theme of the chapter that is uh, theme of the chapter the rat trap greed for material things entraps human so what i told what i said you in the first very first slide jealous when we are jealous of anything we start getting greed i want to get that i want to get that so greed of material things people things so material things entraps human being so when i want that that is my desire that with that want what happen you come into trap you come into problem you are in a problematic situation so you may be a, into a, a big problem where you are not able to overcome in your life next point essential goodness of a human 
being a love and understanding. See, this is a very important point. Underline it. Underline it, students. Just a very important point. Essential goodness. Essential goodness. Every human being, every individual, okay, is having a good in them. Everyone. See, human, uh, we have two sides, positive and negative. You take positive side. So essential goodness, minimum goodness, okay, basic of human, uh, human being are love and understand. When you share love, I talked to you in the last part, love and understanding. When you talk about love, love is a, uh, it's not a small thing. Love and by love and understanding, we can change our, all the issues, all the problems. Okay, the next one, emotions of love and acceptance can reform others. Emotion of love and acceptance. When you say love does not mean a shortcut. Uh, with that, uh, that material love we share with everyone. We think, ah, you love him, you love her. Love has a, a big meaning. And with the term of love in the University of London, even there's a course available, degrees available, master degrees available. So with the term love, is a lot of discussion can be, we can do a lot of discussion. But love, emotion of love. See, for example, I'll show you, on the, when you are passing the road, you see a blind man is standing, he's not able to cross the road. You're going in, you're going fast, but you stop, you stop and just help him to cross the road. Okay, you help him to cross the road. You can say you're doing a kind act. That act might be loved by others. That man is a good one. Okay, because he, this XYZ man accepts your what act that you saw, you're showing what kindness to the one. So that emotion of love, the emotion of love and acceptance can reform others. How do you behave? That others will like you. Okay. That others can change you with your behavior, with your uh, work, with your activities. Okay. Reach, joy, shelter, and food are lu uh, lurative beds. See, it's attractive beds. Beds, you know, I have shown you the picture on that where there's a rat trap. In the rat trap, the rats are given food. They get attracted towards the food. They come into the inside that rat trap. Okay. Similarly, these these are the things. What I want to be a rich man. I want to be always happy. We search for enjoy happiness. Shelter where we live. House, food, what we eat. See, when we are greed of thing, I need it. See our basic amenities. When we fulfill our basic amenities, we are okay. Fine. But we are greed of getting it. I need biryani daily. I need this special item daily. So when you are desiring a luxurious life, that becomes a greed for you. When you are greed of something, then you are definitely going for trouble, inviting trouble. Okay. So this is the theme of the chapter that's from the right trap. Material objects exist in plenty trap mankind. Material objects exist in plenty trap mankind. Material objects, what I talk to in the basic things. Material objects, so many materialistic things are there. So many materialistic things that attracts you to the man can start doing. You forget he's my friend, he's my brother, he's my see, he's my sister. For example, in the school days, you might have done it. Uh, when you need to complete your homework, and you you try to uh, you try to hidingly bring means you try to bring your friend's copy without his information, without his information, and later on you try to give him back, but what you caught. What you do, you're caught without information. You've taken his copy and he's angry. And by this situation, you have done something wrong. It is a friend or whoever it may be, wrong is always wrong. So similarly, you are trying to fulfill your desire. You need this. So this, this what we feel, we try to get it by any means. I want to do without my work. So that when you, without information you're taking, that is a materialistic work you're doing it. So students just try to understand how you individual come in trouble for his self when you become selfish when you become selfish you're coming into trouble so uh, for searching happiness it's a different concept when you go for selfish again there's a different concept here okay so this is all about we are talking about the theme of the chapter just i want to make you aware with the theme and then i will come into the talking about the uh, writer just you know the theme because I'm connected. I have connected all the uh, you know, slides from the very beginning, and that is clearly giving connecting towards the theme of the chapter that is rat trap. Okay. Next, the introduction of the writer Selma Lagerlöf, a Swedish writer. Okay, I am from India. I'm Indian writer. If I write a book, she's from Sweden, and that's why she's a Swedish writer. 
whose stories have been translated into many languages. Suppose someone will write in Hindi or Urdu or Telugu or Tamil, his books will be completed and uh, translated in, into English. So then, then into many other languages. So his, this is her different stories have been translated into many languages, means her stories. Then author of several books and recipient of Nobel Prize in Literature. Okay, she has received a Nobel Prize. The story is narrated in the manner of fairy tale. You remember students, uh, in your class 11, you have read it, the Ranga's Marriage. Okay, the narrator has created the chapter, means created the chapter, means as per his wish, he has presented the chapter. And similar way, you are very much awaited to listen to the chapter. When I'll go in a line wise explanation, you'll be enjoying the chapter. How narrator, how writer has presented the ideas, the sequence where you won't be able to stop. Yeah, next, what is going to happen? That definitely you'll be enjoying it. So what is that fair, uh, fair, uh, fairy tale? On the universal theme of essential goodness in human being. Universal theme, essential goodness in human being. Human being, we do essential, we do some good work. Okay, and that good work will make us refine. That good work will make us refine, will make us so in a market how good, how better you are. See, your good things, not your what you say. Your deeds will show you what you are, not what you say. Your sayings are not enough. Your good deeds. Okay, next, next one. Love and understanding awakens humanism. Love and understanding. When you so love, sympathy, empathy and you understand other definitely you're doing some humanitarian work because you're able to solve others problem you understand my friend is able to understand me my brother is able to understand me my father is able to understand me when they are able to understand you they they are with you they are able to solve your problems so just these are the basic two points love and understanding love and understanding will solve the problem of us so this is the what a writer is focusing here in the part of the chapter. She is Swedish writer. Clear her students? I hope students, I'm not going fast. I'm connecting to the point what, what uh, I'm connecting. I'm able to connect to your students. Yes, I'm not going fast with you students. I'm able to, uh, uh, you're able to understand what I'm delivering, why, what I'm able to make you understand. Yes, I hope so students. Next point comes here, character. Okay, here are the basic four characters have been shared here. The Peddler, Crofta, Iron Master, and Edla Williamson. Okay, and sub characters are there. These are the major important characters. Sub characters are there. Okay, so uh, Peddler, the poor rat trap seller. Seller is otherwise known as Vagabond, Beggar, Pretty Thief, Why Pity, uh, pity Thief? Because, see, poor rat trap seller, poor rat trap seller means he's already poor and he's, what is his profession? Just a minute, students. Yeah, students. So, just I was talking that a poor rat trap seller, yeah. beggar, vagabond and pretty thief. Pit, pretty thief, see, uh, as his lifestyle is, so he's not able to do his earning, means by selling a rat trap. He, he's a poor because his, his profession is a rat trap selling. And by his profession, he's not able to fulfill his all requirement of his life. So that's why term has been a poor rat trap seller. And the seller is even poor. And at the same time, PT Thiev is having the work that he's just stealing uh, materials. So what I've shown you the structure, how the rat trap is made of. He collect the material from, his, from some, some stores and other, he just do thief activity. Okay, and next, Vagabond, movie and that don't have the destinations to stay. Okay, beggar, begs the next, witty, philosophical, uh, pragmatist, humorous. This is all about the behavior, how peddler is uh, and what he is doing. We'll be getting in more details in the next class. I'll be sharing you all the more details, line his explanation about the peddler. Next is the next character, the crofter. Ex-employee of Ramjo's iron mill, robbed by the crofter. Okay, ex-employee, he is he was working at the Ramjo's in, at now at present. Uh, what the crofter is old man, and this at uh, means this man, this man refers to the peddler stayed with the crofter and he has robbed 
he's taken the money and due to his uh, what happened we can say the crofter is, is losing his trust and that's why he trusted Pendler to, he allowed him to stay in his home so this is another character that is the crofter and next character that is iron master owner of Ramju's iron mill a taskmaster caution and ho hospitable suspicious just mark it down here hospitable and a taskmaster this is two point about important point about iron master okay this is two important point how this is two important point when i'll be explaining lino's explanation of the chapter this two point you'll remember and i'll elaborate these two ideas how taskmaster and how hospitable he is and we'll discuss next edla williams important character after peddler of this text this character edla williams most often in the examination this character is coming for six mark edla williamson so this is a very important character the first one the peddler it's a protagonist we can say protagonist hero of the chapter hero of the chapter protagonist that is the peddler and edla williamson she is another important character she, uh, her role is very essential here how she is doing what she is doing she is the daughter of iron master modest persuasive understanding honest sensitive and hospitable here she is also hospitable mark it down same term has been used here for iron master and edla williamson here this two characters means edla williamson is very important how she is behaving see how you treat your friend means uh, tit for tat we say no how you as you do so you get what's your behavior same way you'll be treated so similarly how the edla williamson is treating how the uh, the man is changing the peddler will become from a thief robber beggar to a philosopher witty and humorous will be seeing how he's changing later on so these are the basic characters what will be the, the important character sub characters are there okay then uh, a coal master with, with the iron means what uh, the uh, sub characters i will be there will be dealing in the detail wise in other next class next year the title and setting the right trap is a metaphor to highlight the human predicament just as a rat is fooled by a bait and gets trapped most human beings are likely to fall into the trap of material benefits okay so rat trap is a metaphor is has been used simile and metaphor simile and metaphor simile is a direct comparison metaphor is an indirect comparison okay simile is a direct comparison metaphor is an indirect comparison rat trap is a metaphor to highlight human predicament human predicament means human life as whatever we do we are greed of something we are jealous of something we see i don't have this one we become jealous and we become greed and we start of uh, focusing on that individual thing to get it and when we come in trouble for that and we are coming into the rat trap the concept of rat trap how rat is greed of something means he is uh, he's attracted by food inside the rat trap okay and he is trapped in it the same in the lines is saying just as rat is fooled by a bait bait is a food given inside that thing means inside the trap okay whether rat is trapped the most human beings are likely to fall in in the trap of material benefits next one settings the story is set amidst the mines of sweden means the mid of the mines of sweden the reach in iron ore which figure large in the history of that country large in history of that country so which one that one means it's a famous of that kind of that's a iron production the story told somewhat in the manner of fairy tale in the same what manner of a fairy tale as we are enjoying the fairy tales in the same style it has been shared to us okay students i hope you are able to understand the title and setting okay next we'll be coming up here in the vocabulary vocabulary okay odd moments free time next one keep body and soul together keep body and soul together survive gleam expressed vagabond i have already shared okay vagabond i have already shared your students uh, a wanderer a no having no destination in odia we can say bulla kukura no has no destination move here and there plot along walk slowly said bits 
of our temptation, when we see something, we are attracted and we desire to get it, said beds. Similarly, in the, the bed is referred for the rat and even for the human. Okay, and this bed, you remember when I'll be sharing the line wise explanation, what are beds for human? I'll be telling everything. Okay, unwanted joy or un, uh, unwanted usual. Okay, un, un, unwanted, unusual. Uh, then treading, walking slowly, carved off, cut off, mojlis as you play card games. Okay, trump cards. So many card games are coming. It's a mostly a card game. So when the peddler was at the home of Crofter, so during that time they played a card game. Bossy, uh, cow, yeah, uh, bossy, uh, creamery, butter produ uh, production, uh, producing factory. The kunor, it's a currency as we have rupees, Indian rupees. Similar, it's a kunor, it's a currency of Sweden. Crofter, small farmer. These are certain vocabularies needed for your upgradation for the uh, required for the chapter okay students and finally comes the message what message we are getting from the chapter when we'll be reading the chapter just these are the basic initial information why i'm sharing with students first when you have this information when i'll be going the chapter line wise explanation you won't be disturbed to get connecting to the information or ideas uh, the chapter will be giving to you. So you will be having pre-informations and the, for understanding the chapter will be easy. The rat trap is a poor man. He robs same who gives him shelter and food, but he is reformed by the compassionate behavior of young girl, Edla. Just a minute. 